any major mistakes Fields had this game, what are they? Letting two free rushers, and this is what I really don't like about that Getsy quote, is you're saying you've got a dirty uh, a dirty edge, right? What he said. That was not a dirty edge. If the blindside rusher didn't get him, guys, go watch that play. There was another guy on the other on the other end. So that was not a, a sack where, oh, he didn't see that guy coming. He was getting sandwiched. He was getting absolutely demolished. On the strip you, sack fumble, Justin said his rule there is just don't take a sack on naked through bootlegs. What, what can, what's the coaching point there if he has his back turned in those situations so that doesn't happen again? Yeah, I mean, he, we just talked about the goal line play was exactly the same thing. And so whenever you – Whenever you know you have what we refer to as a dirty edge, which every pretty much every uh, bootleg keeper that we have is a dirty edge, you got to come out high. And when you recognize that got the rusher is high, you got to pull up. And so uh, he didn't do that on that particular one. He did it on the other one and created a touchdown for us. And so uh, that's part of that learning experience that you get in games and seeing the way everybody's game planning you specifically. If he didn't fumble that ball by the first hit, so now he's being told is don't take a sack. And don't take a sack. I, I want you to step up, use your athleticism, and make a play that, you know, three guys in the league can make. Great. Awesome coaching. The way he explained it there, I don't know if I'm misunderstanding or he didn't explain it very well, but he explained it like a dirty edge is just something that happens regularly. Like, a free rusher is just going to happen regularly all the time on his play designs. And it's like, what the hell are you talking about? No. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to go down. They're not supposed to have free rusher every